Can she breathe? Wait. Just to be sure. Nod your head. Click your fingers. Oh, I can't do that, me. Look. Mia. You know, only some people can. It's like half. It's meant to be a sign of intelligence. Or maybe it's gayness. I can't remember. But look, no matter how hard I try. Mia! Sorry. On the ball. I know. Alice, honey, tonight's the night. You are about to be awakened. Like that, awakened, nice. It's a euphemism. I know. As I was saying. Alice, honey, sweetie, darling, tonight's the night. Let's run through this again. Are you allowed to talk? Are you allowed to complain? Good girl. Isn't she a good girl, Mia? Wonderful. Now, I would like, as best as possible, to keep this clean, impersonal, professional, etc. But before we start the simulation, I would like to ask our Paige a few mandatory questions in which this special instance she can answer. Stay with me, Alice. Alice, in my short time as head of dorm, I and Mia, your esteemed house sister, have noticed a small pendant hanging around your neck. Am I correct in believing this to be a religious symbol? A symbol of devout Christianity? A cross, to be specific. Yes? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Alice. Honey, sweetie, darling, we've been observing you this first week and we've concluded that you wear that aforementioned symbol all the time. Or should we say religiously? <laughs> Answer, please. That's sufficient. Did you note the response, Mia? Yes, sir. There are no sirs in this room. Mia, do you observe a single pair or indeed a single testicle in this dorm? No. Correct. So none of this sir business. You may refer to me as esteemed head of dorm, high priestess, or if you prefer more simply, God. Yes, my child. Indeed for you, Alice. I am your God. For tonight. So we better start by taking this off. Lazy fuck. Get her up. Heavy. Fat. For shape and death, fat. Oh, are you sleepy, baby? Have we tired you out? Is it past your bedtime? Hold her up. I'm trying. Stop pretending, Alice. You were making this very tricky. And she wouldn't want to make this tricky now, would she, Mia? She wouldn't want to do something silly like pretending to be sleepy. Silly things happen to silly girls, Alice. Alice? You wouldn't want us to have to do all this all over again tomorrow night, would you? Would you?
Jesus, Mia. What's wrong with her? She's out cold. I gave her some Valium. You what? I gave her some Valium. Yeah, I heard you. Oh, you gave her some Valium. You gave her a fucking tranquilizer. How'd you give it to her, Mia? Did you pop it in a tea? Slip it up her bottom while she are absorbed in neighborhood? Tell her it were a vitamin, smarty, ecstasy pill. How would you give it to her, Mia? She better be all right. Because if not, we, correction, you are in big trouble. Correction, we are in big trouble because I'm head of dorm and you slipped our little house sister prescription drugs. She's basically my responsibility. Calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Look at her. How many? What? Pills. How many pills? In milligrams? 40? Maybe 50? You're taking piss. Please tell me you are taking the piss. Even I know that's tons. She's a big girl. I hate you. I absolutely hate you. Look at her. We're screwed. They're gonna tell my parents. <laughs> She'll be absolutely fine. I thought it would help. How? How did you think poisoning a 16-year-old girl would help? It's not poison. It's a mild tranquilizer. Stops panic, takes the edge off. You can be quite nasty when you get excited and I wanted this initiation to go smoothly. I thought she'd be quieter. I thought you'd like it. You could do more to her. Gee, what a gesture. How fucking considerate. Look at her. She's fucking unconscious. <sighs> She's not unconscious. She's just super relaxed. This is it. I'm never going to be a prefect. And it's going to fuck up my UCAS and my mum. Oh my God. <laughs> Watch it. You're scared, aren't you? Not scared. Realistic. God for the night, trembling in her trackies. I'm not scared. You're shaking. You can't cope, can you? You only like good clean torture. Fuck you. And your big wet dreams, scaredy cat. <laughs> what? Little what? Shit. Oh, nasty. Shut up. <laughs> you might collapse in fear. You're a real soft kitten, really, aren't you? Fuck off. Like a baby's bottom, you just pretend. Shut up! I think that's Sister Trudge. <laughs> this is the best night of my life. Listen, you cocky fuck. If that walking mass of menopause and Botox comes in, we're dead. Well, fix it. God. Can you put a human potato on my sheets? Help me move her. They say Gonna fit in much, kid.